Hi, Calvin, Nick, James Graham here. I am um, from the UK. I'm just uh, a fairly new user to Simplero. I've uh, got this first course out here, The Hidden Knowledge of the Elite. Um, I was just about to launch it, actually, when you brought out the new <laughs> capabilities. So uh, if we just have a quick look and compare what I'm trying to do here. Um, I, I put together a course which basically has got lots of pictures and videos and so on. Um, I like the way that this this pull down works. Um, I like the way that this this pull down works. You can categorize things, and the same with with this uh, navigation. Obviously, on the side is nice, and at the bottom you got the ability to do kind of you know the modules, blogs, and feeds, and so on. So um, what's nice is you've got a, a kind of corporate feel, a nice sort of um, strong marketing feel with the hidden knowledge of the elite up here. And um, if we then compare that to, let's go into the uh, membership site, the new membership site. Um, obviously, you've done a great job, so well done on this. Uh, it, it does look a lot more powerful, a lot more modern, you know, cleaner. Uh, so definitely a step forward. I just wanted to ask, uh, you know, one or two questions, which I think, from a point of view, I look at it from my customer's point of view, uh, and one of them is the navigation. So on the top here, there's no navigation button to pull down the, mo the course modules. You don't get that on the forum either with the categories, and you don't get it uh, on the blog. So if we go into the course itself, uh, I think it's a great idea to to you know create the courses like you've done. Um, but you've got no header up here. There's no, there's no hero. And again, you're not getting this, this image, this strong marketing image, and this sort of, you know, feeling of being in a, a, a kind of powerful site in the sense that it's a bit sparse. And, and I think that uh, having a header up here, which would, would do a lot, as would the pull downs. So you're getting the same with the forum. Um, there's no, you know, hero header up here, uh, and the blog. But what I did notice on the pages side of things is that you do have this um, hero uh, capability. Uh, just, a, just since we're here, a quick comment on this. It could be just me. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, what we've got is a situation where the uh, the sidebar is overlapping the, the, the actual. So as you can see, the, the, the hero here is overlapped by the sidebar. Um, if we actually go kind of like down a level, I've actually put a couple of kind of levels down here. If we go into the orientation, um, you know, that is actually what I would expect to see, which is the full hero on the right and then the the uh, the actual sidebar not overlapping it. So um, I don't know if it's just the way I've done it. Um, you know, maybe, you know, this has an ability to drop and you get the whole thing across, I don't know. But yeah, I like this. I like the way you've done all, you know, the ability to put features in and, you know, add new sections. I, I think this is really great. So well done on all that. It, it, uh, it's a big improvement. So um, let's just view the page. Um, so what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, on the theme, um, it's quite interesting uh, and, and nice to see what it looks like in this format. But what I'm finding is that the it takes a lot of effort to get the the actual picture and the and the actual text on the picture to line up properly to get it, it sort of centered. And um, you really do need to look at this uh, ability to automatically do this without having to spend a lot of time kind of toing and froing and messing around with graphics to, to get things centered. So um, yeah, you need to, to see if you can get some software to hook into that. Um, one of the other things is um, I on my website, um, what I've this, this is uh, a page cloud website. Uh, if you don't know it, you should check it out. It's actually an amazing piece of software. You can move things around on the, the whole site. Uh, that's a you know, picture or a video. This this is, could be text and so on. Um, you, you literally just so quickly can put buttons and you know links and all sorts of things in it. It's, it's almost like doing PowerPoint, but you're just doing it on a website. Everything's just uh, very intuitive. So if I um, save that, and then uh, go live on it. 
what we're finding, what I'm finding is that um, once somebody's watched the video, the idea is that they then click the button here and they go through the shopping cart and they buy the product. Uh, however, if they come off, you get this pop-up, which is your software, Simplera software, you know, really great, looks, looks really good. Put in, uh, you know, you get this free video, put the name in and so on. Uh, the thing is that um, I wanted to ask you was that if somebody buys the product, uh, what I don't want them to do is to come off the page and then this pop-up comes in. So it's a case of maybe I don't understand how to do it, but it's a case of if you buy the product, then I don't want this pop-up to come up. Okay, so uh, I think that was the the, the main points. Um, deleting a membership site, I accidentally created one. I don't know how to delete it. I wasn't sure how to do that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, well done on all this. It really looks clean. It really looks great. Um, yeah, I feel that uh, I want to transfer everything over, and it would be great if you could let me know if, uh, in particular, uh, we can get this um, pull down ability at the top here and uh, the hero ability. The same as you've done really on the pages side, but just 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 you know recode the blog and the forum and the the, the course sections to actually well all of them really to have this hero capability on the top to, to get that strong marketing feel and then uh, like you've done here with this um, you know have these drop downs coming down uh, you know on the course forum and the blog section. Uh, just a, a kind of last point on this when looking at it from a customer point of view when I come into this course module area I'm trying to click on this and nothing's happening so you know you have to come down to here I've embedded the the click into the link into this uh, this picture but um, if we look at what what's happening um, I like the way you've, you've, you've done this uh, so what I'm actually saying is that this should be clickable here. Uh, at the moment, this is clickable. Uh, I personally don't do lessons or quizzes, but what would be really great would be if you could put, add to this bit here a worksheet section. And this means that when somebody actually is looking at the preview, they actually have a choice to actually go into the worksheet here. Uh, and that would be uh, you know really good. So, yeah, if we look at... Um, the actual module itself, um, it's it's in, instead of in sections, you just allowed us to do this this whole thing in one go, which is good. I'm fine with that. Um, I suppose at the bottom, the problem is there's no navigation when you come to the bottom. You you kind of you've got something long like this. So I put in you know go back to the top of the page or go to the blogs and forums from this level, but I've had to sort of link that in. I don't know what the, the answer is. I don't know whether this sort of side bit could maybe kind of slide down as you're scrolling to, so from that point, nothing happens, of course, on the left, but you could maybe have it so it scrolls down on the left. So you've always got a navigation capability at hand. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, many thanks for, for doing this. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my, my whole course launched. Um, I was about to do it and then you brought this up so I'm going to probably spend some time actually migrating everything over before I launch. So many thanks, uh, well done, I hope that helps um, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you.